And this is not good. No way. Elena Rebakina injured, ladies and gentlemen. She has to retire from the match against Jasmine Polini. I knew something was not right, guys. Listen to what I'm telling you. I watch the players enough to know when something's not right here at Tennis in a Minute. I'm a pretty good judge of character. I'm a pretty good judge of what I see on the court. And a lot of times, not all the times, at least 80% of the time, I'm correct. And Rebecca, after seven double faults yesterday, struggling with the serve, she completely blew that first set against Ostapenko. And that could have been the difference maker, going that extra set. If she could have closed her way in two, she could have rested more, recovered. This match here, guys, only getting 56% of her first serves in play, only winning 52% of her second serves. Jasmine, on the other hand, winning nearly 70% of her first serves, had nine break points over Elena Rabakin, and this does not look good. I told you guys, watch out for the U.S. Open. It's either going to be someone of the big three, Coco, Pigula, Iga, or we may have a sleeper altogether. Maybe another Emma Raducanu story. Who knows? But I don't think it's going to be Rabakin. She's not healthy. You see the tape on the arm. She showed a lot of discomfort yesterday, and playing against Elena Asapenko is not an easy task. Now you're taking on someone that's so athletic, fast, running all around the court. Polini had nine breakpoint opportunities on Rabakin. She converted on two of them. It seemed like she was going to run away with the match anyway. Tennis in a minute. Rabakina is out. We'll be back.